We have new information into the financial fights between some University of Michigan students and Treetops Resorts in northern Michigan. Seven investigator Jim Kirchner brought us the inside look at what happened in January, and he's back now with some new information in this case. Jim, what now? Well, this is a bit of a backpedal from the strong statement we were given yesterday. The attorney for the resort tells me this afternoon he could file his suit within the next week, but he also adds that he's in talks and that they were actually taken over on the other side by alumni for the fraternity involved. As we first reported last night, 270 college students rode five buses from Ann Arbor to treetops up north for a weekend of Destruction 101. By the time the weekend of January 16th was over, the resort was trashed with damages climbing into the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Within days, the fraternity wrote this check for 25 grand on top of another 20 grand paid before and during the weekend. Letters of apology were also written by the frat leaders. The president and treasurer of Sigma Alpha Mu would eventually be charged with providing a place for minors to drink, a misdemeanor, and one other student charged with malicious destruction of property, a felony. The prosecutor says he's in negotiations to try to hold all students accountable. Looks like we may be able to do that, I hope. Charge more. That's our belief, yes. Tonight, the sister sorority of Sigma Alpha Mu issued this statement. Through our investigation, we found the women were not responsible for the damage incurred at Treetops Resort. We've also been made aware of multiple reports that management and security guards of the Treetops Resort and Spa did not step in to stop any of the actions while they occurred that weekend. That from Sigma Delta Tau. As we first reported last night, Michigan State Police, who investigated, wrote, the direction provided to the security officers was to keep the fraternity on one side of the end building. If they remained on that side, they were pretty much free to do what they wanted, short of burning the building down. In a statement from Treetops, a resort manager is quoted as saying, No doubt some people will criticize our handling of the situation. I already know things we can do to avoid this kind of situation in the future, but based upon the information our people had at the time, I'm proud of how our team responded. The prosecutor up north says one reason he is pressing charges, a judge can order restitution. Is it your goal to have them pay full restitution? That would be the goal, of course, sure. Now, we should also note Treetops is in bankruptcy, and we have a lot more. Tonight at 11, the amount of money in dispute and the bind that local prosecutor up north is in, trying to hold what could be hundreds of students accountable. We'll see you then. Stephen, Carolyn. All right. Thanks. We'll be watching for sure.